Welcome again, everyone. Ben again here. Um, today we're going to be looking at the balance sheet. So balance sheet is the second financial statement uh, that most businesses will utilize, and we want to take a good look at it. Why is it a critical document? And what does it do to provide uh, information to business owners? Well, so the balance sheet is a, is a document that provides a snapshot of your business's financial health. And so it helps you better understand your business's financial stability and your position, which is uh, a really helpful thing when you're looking at a specific moment in time, that snapshot. So understanding the balance sheet. What is a balance sheet? The balance sheet is a financial snapshot. It's a picture in time showing your business uh, what it owns, what it actually holds in ownership, what it owes a responsibility to in terms of debt or obligations, and its overall equity. What is the value that's left over between those two things at any specific point in time? So it's a key tool for assessing your financial position. So the components of a balance sheet. Let's break it down, okay? So the components of a balance sheet, there's three main areas of a balance sheet. There's the assets, the liabilities, and the equity. So we mentioned those, but together those really paint the picture of the balance sheet. So let's dive into assets. What is an asset? Um, you've probably got an intuitive understanding of an asset. It really is anything that you own, the business owns. So there's two primary aspects of assets within a business as it relates to the balance sheet. And those two kinds of assets are current assets, which would be any kind of assets that have a shelf life of less than 12 months, um, something that would be generally used in the fiscal year. Um, Short-term assets are cash, potentially things like inventory, something that's coming in and it's going to go out. That's the intention, things that are moving through. So current assets, things that are short-term, generally less than 12 months or within the fiscal year. And then you've got long-term assets or non-current assets, and those things represent longer-term investments like property. Maybe you had to buy a building. You've got to have a vehicle. Uh, you've got to have equipment for, for the kitchen that you run a restaurant out of. So anything that's not immediately utilized as cash or inventory, which would be short-term assets or current assets, non-current assets are those longer periods of time that go beyond 12 months. Liabilities. Okay, so the next item, the next component of the balance sheet. Liabilities are what your business owes. So it's not what you own, it's what you owe. It's kind of a mirror opposite of uh, your assets, but it's the obligations that are required of your business. So again, we have this current and non-current um, aspect of liabilities. You have current liabilities, which are short-term obligations, things that you owe somebody and they're going to be expecting you to pay them relatively soon. So those are bills, um, inventory, things that you know you have a net 30, a responsibility to repay. You, you get in food to run a restaurant, you turn it into meals and you sell it. Well, you owe that, that company, uh, usually within 30 days, a responsibility to pay them for that. So that's a, a short-term or a current liability that you own is debt for short-term usage of things like inventory or maybe even utilities. Non-current liabilities are things for long-term debt, uh, and that can be anything that's associated with business loans, um, potentially even longer-term asset purchases that you own liabilities on. You own them both, so they balance each other out. One would be an asset, the ownership, and then the liability would be the, um, the loan on that, which would be like a vehicle loan. And so you've got the obligation to that over that long period of time. Okay, so analyzing the balance sheet. So uh, we're going to move on from understanding a top-level view of the components and what it is to really analyzing it. And there's some key ratios that are derived from the balance sheet and ones that you would utilize to get a better understanding and really make some good decisions when looking at your balance sheet. And that would be the current ratio and your debt to equity ratio. Those offer insights into the business's liquidity, how much cash you've got on hand, uh, and they also give you a better understanding of how much financial leverage you have. So, you know, perhaps you've got outstanding debt and you can't really take on any additional 
you don't have any opportunity or leverage. But if you had a lot of assets and not a lot of debt, then you've probably got more leverage from a financial standpoint. And so being able to analyze those ratios, either the current ratio or the, the debt to equity ratio, both of those are going to be helpful tools um, when looking at your balance sheet. Trends and decision making. So trends on the balance sheet that we're looking at, analyzing trends over a variety of different periods of time, meaning snapshots in time throughout different cyclical um, fiscal years, helps you make better informed decisions, allowing you to adapt your financial strategies and optimize your resources. Um, evaluating trends reveals opportunities or challenges uh, that can be posed by things like seasonality, patterns, um, strengths and weaknesses that need attention. So in conclusion, a balance sheet is a vital tool, um, a financial statement that's really essential for you to understand your business's financial position. By dissecting the components that we talked about, analyzing trends, calculating key ratios, you gain a valuable insight into making better informed decisions for your business. Thank you for your time.